that's the only German you need to know to uh, break Enigma. Welcome to Data Science 360. During warfare, one of the key aspects of communications is the ability to transmit messages with high secrecy and security. Within the military, Germans developed a new machine. They thought it was completely undecipherable. The machine was known as Enigma. Alan Turing with his team at Bletchley Park found a way to break the Enigma. Some historians estimate that if Enigma had not been broken, the war would have continued for another two to three years and a further 14 to 21 million people might have been killed. As the father of computer science and artificial intelligence, as well as war hero, Alan Turing's contributions were far-ranging and path-breaking. His work at Bletchley Park, the Britain's wartime code-breaking center, was credited with shortening the war and saving many thousands of lives. Not only did he develop two of the first modern computers, but he also pioneered what we know today as artificial intelligence. His 1950 paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, is considered the first cogent attempt at describing in detail how computers could one day think. He proposed a test called Imitation Game, where two people in one machine played the game, with one of the persons acting as interrogator. By asking questions of both the machine and the other person, the interrogator attempts to find who is machine and who is human. If the machine passes the test, it is considered to be a truly intelligent machine. The Enigma machine was developed in Germany shortly after World War I to encode and decode messages, and for the next 20 years, the German military refined the technology until it became the Nazis' primary means of ciphering messages during World War II. The machines had a typewriter keyboard to input the messages and a light board that would spell out the encrypted version. For example, if a word radar is typed, it may produce random word like XDFGH. A sender would be given a plaintext message to encrypt. After setting up his machine, he would type the message on the Enigma keyboard. For each letter pressed, the lamp board lights up to a different letter, according to a pseudo-random substitution, determined by the electrical pathways inside the machine. The encrypted text recorded is then transmitted, usually by radio and Morse code, to an operator of another Enigma machine. Receiver would type in the encrypted text, and as long as all the settings of the sender, and the receiver machine are same. For every key press, the reverse substitution would occur and the original message would be produced. Sounds simple, right? But why is it so difficult to break the enigma? When you receive an encrypted message and you want to decode it, you will require three things. The first one is plug board settings. The plug board is located in front of enigma machine. When a letter is typed, it swaps them as per the setting. For example, it can map A to the letter M, or N to the letter D, and etc. Similarly, we can make up to 10 pairs of letters. The second one is rotor positions. Inside the machine, there are three removable rotors that would rotate every time a key was pressed to ensure that a different result was generated each time, even if the same key was pressed twice. The rotor's ring will describe letters from A to Z. The three rotors rotate at different speeds, like hands of a clock. They have five rotor options, out of which operators can place any three inside the machine. Placing them in the different positions will produce different output since all the rotors are identical. The third one is rotor initial setting. Rotor ring will be engraved with letters A to Z. Before we type any message, these rotors have to be turned to point a specific letter. The German cipher machine operators were issued with a key sheet every month which told them how to set up the rotors and plug board for every day that month. Both sender and the receiver would have the same sheet to set up their device exactly same. If someone who doesn't have the sheet wants to decrypt the message, they have to try 159 million, million, million possible combinations of each settings in the machine to find the original message. Cracking the enigma was a near impossible task. Wait till the end of the video to see the math behind this huge number. Let's see how it works internally. When the operator types the letter T, it passes through the plug board 
where it gets swapped to the letter K. Then it passes through three rotors, where it gets changed multiple times, and hits the reflector, and returns back. It again gets changed multiple times, on its way back, and reaches the plug board as letter, W. The, the plug board then swaps it to the letter, G, and this letter, is displayed on the light board. We saw that, one has to try 159 million, 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 combinations to break the Enigma, but how did Alan Turing break it? Turing built a device known as, the bomb. It was designed to discover some of the daily settings, of the Enigma machines, specifically, the set of rotors used, and their positions in the machine, and wirings of the plug board, it replicated the action of several Enigma machines, wired together. The standard British bomb contained 36 Enigma equivalents, each with three drums, wired to produce the same scrambling effect, as the Enigma rotors, Turing created an algorithm, that cut down the number of possibilities, that his machine had to test each day, Alan's team, made educated guesses, at certain words that the message would contain, for example, they knew that every day, the German forces sent out a weather report, so an intercepted coded message would almost, certainly contain the German word for weather, they also knew that, most messages would contain, the phrase Heil Hitler. The bomb machine would take these words and the encrypted message and tries to produce the settings, then these settings would be used to decrypt the message. Now, let's look at the quick math on how we arrived at the number 159 million million million. The Enigma operator has to choose three rotors out of the five options. So with 60 different combinations of these rotors, the operator had to set the starting position of each rotors before they input the message. Each rotors had 26 starting positions, referring letter A to Z, so 26 times 3 equals 17,576 combinations. In plug board, there are 10 pairs that can be made out of 26 plug board setting, and 6 slots are left free, so the possible combinations are 150 trillion, 738 billion, 274 million, 237,250. So, in total, there were over 159 million million, million possible combinations, for each, message intercepted by the allies. Cracking it was a near impossible task. Thank you for watching, you are amazing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and like the video.